The Burlington Fire Department has a shiny new ambulance. The department typically updates their ambulance every five years, and this is the first one they have purchased since transitioning from basic life support to advanced life support, and it is equipped to serve paramedics. It was designed to be uh, paramedic ALS uh, friendly. Uh, I think the good thing about this ambulance is that all, every EMT and paramedic on the Burlington Fire Department had a say um, in how the ambulance was built and how it was designed because uh, they're the ones that are doing the work in the back and taking care of the patients so uh, it was designed to be very user friendly to both EMTs and paramedics. That means it has equipment designed to make helping patients easier. So it has a, a cabinet that's specifically for uh, advanced life support equipment that uh, we didn't have previously. It's, it's, it's a cabinet that is right at the bench seat that they can reach with arm's length and that uh, that is something that's brand new to this ambulance and specific to this ambulance. We've never had these cabinets before. Uh, there are special uh, monitoring mounts for um, the special mounts for our monitor, our heart monitor. In addition to that there is a safe for the narcotics. It was also built to have a smooth ride for both patients and paramedics. This particular ambulance has something called liquid springs as a, um, a, as a uh, shock system in the back, so it's actually a significantly smoother and easier ride for not only the patients, but the paramedics and EMTs that are working in the back. There's a UV light that decontaminates and sterilizes all the surfaces and equipment in the back of the ambulance, something useful whether there is a pandemic or not. Especially nowadays with... Uh, with the current pandemic and even even without that it was always important to make sure that the back of that ambulance stayed uh, decontaminated and clean. Uh, now just by the flick of a switch the UV light goes on and within 10 to 15 minutes everything in the back of the ambulance is all the surfaces and nooks and crannies are decontaminated. From the Burlington Fire Department, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford.